you are not suffering life you are suffering the two most important faculties that you have a vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination both you are suffering you go all i knew was i've hit a gold mine i don't want to lose it i had no word to describe what is happening within me but i knew i've hit something that i don't want to lose this is the very first time you can sit here and talk to the entire world do not underestimate this if at all ever in the history of humanity we can transform human beings this is the moment this is our time on the planet what we make out of this damn world is ours whatever we make out of it we should make something that if we look back and see at least in our minds and our hearts it must look good isn't it what we have done the influence of the group at this at this gathering is after i added it up around 80 million mm -hmm. the reach and so i see that and and i really want to do some do some good with it mm -hmm. and so i would love to get your opinion on what we can do to infuse seeds of transformation into all of our content into our media and what can we do as people who have the privilege of having a voice in this day and age to use it for the betterment upliftment of society I know all of you know this that's why you're in that uh, medium but still I would like to put it in context see many great beings have come in the past ah uh, krishna came a wonderful being but he could talk to only one person and that guy has 100 questions Shiva came. He is the Adi Yogi, the source of yoga. He tried to talk to his dear wife. She has a thousand questions. Won't listen. Gautam Buddha came. Uh, he gathered a few people, uh, but if he spoke, hardly fifty people can hear. I mean to say, he didn't have microphone. I'm saying this has been the history of humanity. This is the first time this is the very first time you can sit here and talk to the entire world do not underestimate this if at all if at all ever ever in the history of humanity we can transform human beings this is the moment because this is the first time we can even talk to them whoop whoop <laughs> i'm earning disciples <laughs> so uh, this is the very first time that we have a real opportunity to transform human beings because never before we could even talk to them probably about uh, 17 18 years ago my journey on this online thing started like this I was here in Tennessee and uh, I was in the office and working with some people and someone told me Sadhguru every day about 100,000 people type the word spirituality I said really that many people what are they looking for I said type it out let's see what comes out and uh, they typed out the word spirituality the first thing that came is a spa in mexico the second thing that came was a call girl in northern california she is doing all spiritual 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 stuff she is she is the seo you know then i said this is a shame what is this happening so that's when i decided i will go online and today across the world in some 17 different languages we are supposed to be touching 1 billion people but that's not my idea of humanity i must tell you this at that time on that hill when things happened i was only 25 years of age and you know 
I can't say this to you, you're a young group. But now that I'm old, I can say, there's no fool like a young fool. When we were young, we used to think no fool like a old fool. Those of you who are in between, you're lost. <laughs> so I was twenty-five and I realized that if I don't mess with my mind, I'm ecstatic. I thought, who would not want this? This is it. This is it, I've found this. This is it. And I sat down and made a plan. The population on that day was 5.6 billion people in the world. I made a plan, this is it, in two and a half years' time, I will go like this in the world and I will make the entire world ecstatic in two and a half years' time. Thirty-eight years, huh? <laughs> I've been working seven days of the week, three hundred and sixty-five days. But it took me some time to realize how deeply people are invested in their miseries. They are so deeply invested. If you show them the best thing, they say no. But today, you don't have to knock on their door, you can just slip in. Huh? Hello? You don't have to knock on their doors, you slip into their pockets, which is closest thing to their heart is their phone. You can slip into that without their permission. On that day, I also inquired with some so-called experts in this internet affairs. I said, so many people are on the internet because I never get to browse, see this and that. Life never allows me such things. I said, what are they looking for? And very casually he said, Sadhguru, seventy percent of the data is pornography. I said, what? He said, yeah, I didn't believe that. I checked out with a few other people. They said, ah, oh, Sadhguru, something like that, Sadhguru, it's not too far, somewhere there. And then they tell me, some 2.5 million children are being sold on the internet. I said, what is this? When we get a technology that we can reach every human being, what we do is sell our children. What's the matter with us? Hello? You can't sing anything below selling your children, isn't it? Hello? A human being cannot go any more, there's no further below bottom than this. So if we give you a great technology, you will sell your children on internet, maybe somebody else's children. I said that day, we got to go shamelessly on internet. People said, no, no, Sadhguru, it will not look good, a guru going on the internet. I said, I don't care, we will go all out. Since then, we've been out. Please, uh, in whichever way you think I can help or you can help, let's make this happen because in our generation, this is our time on the planet. What we make out of this damn world is ours, whatever we make out of it. Hello? We should make something that if we look back and see, it looks good for us at least. Even if other people don't approve, at least in our minds and our hearts, it must look good, isn't it? What we have done. Hello? All of you who are empowered with technology, you must make this happen one way or the other. Huh? That when we turn back and look, we are not ashamed of what we have done. This is one thing every human being should do. It doesn't matter what nonsensical judgments other people make about you. You should not be ashamed of what you have done, isn't it? By your own standards, I'm saying. You don't have to go by my standards or somebody else's standards, but you should not be ashamed of what you have done. That much every human being must do, especially if you're empowered in some way. You must do that. Let's make it happen. Thank you.